Neil, a defeat at the weekend followed by a reserve game. Anybody giving you any food for thought for this coming Saturday? Um, I think you're always looking to pick what you think is the best team. Um, that, that never changes. You hope that um, when you have reserve games, then some players will catch the eye and some will, will, will give you a problem. Um, but, like I say, there's not going to be... Just because we lost it, um, Mansfield is obviously not going to be wholesale changes after that game. And that's a show of faith in the team, I presume, who've done really well for the last month or so. Well, I think if we, you know, we 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 spoke on many occasions, we're going to get defeats because that's the where we are at the moment. We're going to have um, some games that we 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 pick up points. We're going to have other games where. You have to accept uh, that we might lose, and um, I, I don't think um, it's a case of chopping and changing with the players. Um, they need to show a better level of consistency, but uh, I couldn't fault their effort on on Saturday. So it would be wrong to, um, you know, be be getting sort of too down about the, the result. You said the other day you, you, there'll be games when they play really well, and then games where things don't go your way. As a manager, how annoying is that? that you can see what they can do but it doesn't happen every game it's annoying because I don't know I, I don't know from one week to the next what some of them are going to perform like because their levels of form can differ so much and that's obviously a concern when you stood on the sidelines because you just don't know what you're going to get and that's obviously uh, the unknown is something that you don't like as a manager uh, you'd like to think you, you get the, the same level of performance week in week out at the end of the day, once you get a good team, I think that's what you get. You get you get a consistent level of performance with the odd blip, but um, we're certainly not at, not at that stage. Mario Yalike suspended this weekend. Now, I'd say just over a month ago, if you were talking about him not being in the team, people would have been panicking. But does it show how much people have, have kind of pushed and caught up in that position that people aren't panicking too much, it would seem? We had to play without him, um, and when he came on against Sunderland, he made a, a difference, and he was, you know, he did as well as you could expect, and he, he improved us. But then at Mansfield, he wasn't at the same level, and he was poor. So certainly, uh, a fully fit and a man he playing well is a is a, um, I would say, improves the team. But uh, a man who played like he did last week and now he played it say the Colchester game and he doesn't so he's one player that must get um, more consistent in his performances What do you make of the team spirit? Because results on the pitch seem to have coincided with a real buzz it would seem around the, the squad at the moment everyone seems quite happy <laughs> Well the results are not fantastic results of, of are, are sort of a mixed bag aren't they? They're, they have been since pre-season. They've continued all the way through, um, and we're striving to get better. But the one thing that hasn't changed from from any any week is the good team spirit amongst the players. They train well. They have a laugh in training, which is good. If you go, you come down, you hear them laughing and joking, which is always a good sign. It shows that everybody's getting on well, and that's what you want. But um, so there's no problem there. No problem in the dressing room. The problem that we have is. Is just getting a level of performance out of the players and trying to to get them to play at their best week in week out. And if they do that, they can compete well in this league. But if they don't, then I'm afraid uh, they're not going to win matches. So my job is always to try and you're working with them on the pitch, but you're trying to work with them psychologically as well. You're trying to get the best out of them because obviously, uh, with a lot of players. The most important part of the body is obviously the brain and how that's functioning and how it's, you know, what signals that send into the rest of the body. And um, it, it is an unknown quantity, and, and obviously that's why you're really top players. They're not only good players, but they're mentally strong and they, they know what they have to do week in, week out to, um, you know, reach their maximum. On Saturday, how big a threat do you feel Mark Richards could be to a defence that's been reasonably solid? Well, he didn't play last week, so <laughs> uh, if that's the case, then... Um, we'll take that. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
I can't really concern myself too much with Swindon because it's a new manager who's come in. He'll have had a, look, a bit more time now to look at the players, which he'd have only had a few days b before he picked his last team. Um, does he want to play a certain way? Um, it could be changing. I, I can't try and second guess what he's going to do. I need to to make sure our own team's right. But but Swindon are like any team in this league. Um, you know they can win games, they can lose games. Their results are a mixed bag, really. So they they certainly watching the game against Carlisle, which they lost four 0 wasn't a fair reflection of the game at all. Uh, on any other day, it wouldn't have certainly finished that. But but Carlisle. From a limited number of chances, the finishing was really clinical, um, but I wouldn't read too much into that scoreline because it wasn't wasn't a four 0 game.